Okay, to get started this week, I'd like to kind of catch us all up on where we need to be at the beginning of this week. On your week four portion, I've given you your to-do list. I've also spoken to your uh, portfolio grading piece that has some notes to it. And I have also included this, where should I be at the beginning of this week? So this is the perspective of where you should be right now. So go ahead and review this, but let me go ahead and explain it verbally here. First of all, you should have your current portfolio. Now, some of you are um, passionate about your current portfolio and don't really want to change it for a variety of reasons. Either people are using it and you don't want to throw off your users or you just happen to really like the way it lays out. And that's fine. You don't necessarily have to change your current portfolio. At the end of this course, if you like your newly designed portfolio better, you can swap it out. If you don't like it any better, then don't feel like you have to swap it out. But this particular piece, because it is an active portfolio that people see, you shouldn't actively be working on changing it here. Under your instructional design area on your current portfolio, you should have a link simply to um, your instructional design page. I've changed the phrase here to learning modules and I'd like to go ahead and have everybody else do the same there too. Notice I only have one link here out to my instructional design menu and from there what we're going to be doing is we are going to create a whole series of links on this particular template here. This is one of the pages that you will need to change and design after we have explored all of the modules that I will be presenting on design this page should look significantly different. This will be one of the pages that will be assessed for your grade. The other page that will be assessed for your grade is this working portfolio. This is where you can make any kind of changes you want throughout these next couple weeks but at the end of this little module I will be looking at this particular page to see how you've designed it and whether it's in keeping with the things that have been taught. So once again You've got basically three pages you're looking at. This is your current portfolio page, which is your index on your root folder. You've got a link to a learning modules page. From here, you're going to be linking to the variety of different things that you'll be doing in this course, either the before portfolio or the working portfolio. Um, there's going to be lots of other little exercises. So that's where you should be at the beginning of this week. You should also have a working portfolio in place and you should have made some modifications to it by this point.